Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV, and we're going to work on some RMAs today. Oops, let me turn this over so we don't give up anybody's address or anything. Uh, okay, so here's what we got. Let's get started with this one. So this is going to be, let me open this up first, and then I'll look at the RMA number. There's a paper in here, so let me move that out of the way. And this is one, one, okay, so let me look at this. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a gyro does not work on the flight controller. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, okay, well, right off the bat, let me just explain to you. I mean, this is going to be pretty simple. So uh, let's do this. Let me open up the uh, computer here and just tell you why. Well, you know what? I'll let you guys figure it out yourselves. So part of this is obviously, you know, <laughs> um, and I, I got to say, I mean, it's been really cool because a lot of people are now like, they're, they're pretty much straight up. They're like, okay, look, I think I might have messed it up. Please don't, don't, don't haze me. And I'm like, man, I get the fun in that because I do enjoy it when people will just own it. I love it. You know, I mean, I, I definitely respect the fact that, uh, um, let me see if I can move my camera here just a little bit. There we go. Kind of get it even maybe. And okay. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate the honesty. So, um, and it doesn't mean that when you don't tell me you're being dishonest by any means, but um, I try not to razz anybody, but in this case, it's going to be very obvious, I think, just because as soon as I open the package, I can see what's wrong. So let's do this, okay? Let's, let's just take this board, let's put it under the microscope here, and let's just take a look at it, okay? Now, I know what, what I see with the, with the naked eye, right? Without it, and you'll see it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this board along, and I just want you to pay attention, okay? So I want you to look, just look, look, look around the board, look around, keep paying attention, okay? Keep paying it to <laughs> Okay, so look, here's the deal. Uh, when you're soldering, right? And, and, and I do encourage you guys, get a microscope or get a magnifying glass that is, has got a, a good magnification on it. I mean, there are things you should be noticing. For example, when you send a board in, look at these little Hershey Kiss looking marks right here, right? That's what we call them, right? These Hershey Kisses right here, right? Um, this to me is a, this right here, and where is it? This right here, see this right here? This to me right here, let me turn the light down just a little bit, see that? This is a sign right here. This is a sign that the person's obviously got solder splatter, okay? Then you come over to the quality control sticker right here, you can see it's been burned, right? And then you look right there, okay? Now look at that. That is a big goop of solder sitting on the processor, right? So you're shorting out the processor there, Right, you've bridged the pins. Now let's look around the other side. The other side should be okay because I don't think you're going to be soldering underneath. But what is interesting is this hasn't even received solder on the pads yet to power it up. But your soldering needs to improve here. This is not good, okay, at all, actually. So we're going to plug this in uh, and we're going to see what happens. Um, so let me go to here. I'm hoping it doesn't overheat. I'm hoping that maybe we can. I just want to mimic what's happening and then, okay, so we're plugged in. All right, and yes, there is no gyro, okay? Um, I'm not even sure. I'll have to check on this uh, for the firmware, but anyways. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna disconnect. I'm not even gonna look at the firmware right now. What I wanna do is I wanna disconnect. I wanna remove this. We're gonna go back into the microscope. All right. And we're gonna look right here, okay? And we're gonna see if we can somehow try to move this without causing too much damage. Ah, it's going to be tough. And the problem is I could heat it up, but my concern, so I'm going to put a bunch of flux right here. Okay, a bunch. Like, like I'd soak it in the water if I could. Somebody's talking outside here. I don't know what that is. All right, uh, and then I'm going to get, let me get this uh, exactly right.
All right, I'm not gonna be able to get that off like that. So the next thing I can do, and by the way, that's my son texting me. So let me just see what he needs first. Sorry guys, family first, you know that. Let me see. Yeah, he's at the gym, he's kicking butt, man, good for you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up and I'm hoping that when I do that, it will spread. That's my only option. I'm gonna try to do it under this microscope, but it may not be, whoops. It's not gonna be that easy because I can't get I can't get where I need to on it. But let me just see if I can, I'll try. All right, so I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna turn my soldering iron on as well. And I'm gonna keep putting the flux on there just to see if I can get this to kind of spread a little bit. There it goes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work your way out of that. All right, now, this is hot, so I gotta be real careful here, but let me, I gotta change my heat gun. The wires is uh, not good on it anymore, so. I'm not getting that to come off right now. That's a shame. Sorry, I know it's going off the screen, but I'm trying to Alright. So that's that plan won't work. So let me see if I get my soldering iron. To help me a little bit now this sucker is hot so i've got to be very careful here i mean you could hear the the the, the, the flux just bubble so i'm going to try to heat this and get it to separate is my goal Getting close. Let's try this now.
Uh, okay, we're getting a little bit in the middle there, so that might be okay. I'm gonna turn the heat up on my soldering iron just a little bit. I tell you what, I'm going to have to do this without the microscope because it's hard for me to work that um, around. So let me just put my blind man goggles on and you guys will just have to bear with me a second. We'll see and then I'll put it back under the microscope. I just need to be able to see a little bit better and be able to access this just a little bit better. So bear with me just a little bit. There we go. All right, now,
Well, let's see. Well, there's where the bridge was. And now the bridge is gone. Now I gotta make sure that I didn't shoot any of that solder anywhere else and bridge something else. But let me just see. All right, so let me. I'm just gonna pull the board down basically so I can touch the damn thing because it gets really hot. All right, so now, let me see. Now, I don't know if that's going to fix the damage at this point. Sure would be neat to see. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at that. Do we perform miracles? You know, I know people don't like me, but I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> we make shit happen. Tyro's back, baby. That's all that matters. All right, guys. So, so as you can see there, I mean, look. Do I know what I'm doing? Yep. Do people hate me? Yep. Do I care? Nope. Because I can do stuff like this, and hopefully people can learn from that, and that's all that matters, right? So at the end of the day, guys, that's how you do it. I don't know how many people want to try to do that. And you take a risk. I mean, you could damage the whole board from it, but I mean, the board's already damaged as far as I'm concerned. It's not under warranty. But you know what? We're able to fix that. So send that video along. Show people because it's important. I mean, you know, when you when you bridge it like that, that's a pretty cool way to fix it. I'm really excited that I was able to do one of these in front of you guys and show you guys how it's done. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. You can always reach me. Well, you can try to reach me. It's been a little busy, so getting back to people has been a little hard. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're going to put this as one of the best fixes we've done uh, on video right now live for you guys. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. I got my boys with me this weekend, so I'm going to go have some fun. You guys go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace.